everybody, it's Stephanie back from Rock and Aussies. Um, I got my daughter Josie with me and nine week old, um, our Australian Shepherd puppy, Georgia. And I've gotten some questions about what is this little bitty flap hanging off of the end of Georgia's ears, and that's a piece of tape. Um, today we're going to talk to you about ear taping. We do tape our Aussies ears. If your dog's ears stick up like this, it's actually, it's called prick ears, and that's actually a fault. That's actually not something you want for your Australian Shepherd puppy. You do want to tape their ears. There's several different ways to tape their ears. Um, so you want their ears to kind of come down and have a nice um, setting, is what they call it, an ear set. So nice and flopped over. There's several different things that you can use to tape your dog's ears. This is just regular human tape, grade tape that you would use um, for surgeries or to tape up a cast. Um, what you want to do is you want to get a piece of tape and um, you want to get it about the right length because it's going to go underneath one ear um, around the bottom of her chin and then it's going to tape to the other ear. So you can kind of just guess sometimes if I get it too big then I just kind of go back and um, cut it off. The You do want somebody to hold your puppy normally because normally they don't just sit still, they're really wiggly. So we're just going to come to the inside of this ear and we're going to tape it and we're going to encourage the ear to lay down and it's sticky side up. She's looking for cookies. And then we're just going to tape it to the other side. And my tape is too big, so this is where your holder comes into, <laughs> comes into play. Um, so we're just going to take this to the other side, and we're going to tape the bottom side of her ear down so it kind of looks like they have this little hat on or a scarf. You can also take another piece of tape, um, go over the outside of the ear, and we're just going to tape it from the outside to the existing tape. And then same thing on the other ear. Um, if you want to get real creative, you can um, have it run all the because now this part of the tape is sticky, so you can run a piece all the way over so you're not it's not getting stuck to everything. So that's one way you can um, tape your puppy's ears. <clears throat> the other thing you can do is you can use a piece of duct tape. Um, what you do is you just come and take your duct tape and you're going to notch it. You're going to take out a piece. It's going to kind of look like an L. So I'm going to notch one side, so I have my L, and then I'm going to notch it the exact same way, and I'm going to save those pieces on the other side. So you're going to come down, and you're going to notch it down here, and then you save your notch. Then what you'll do is this part that's really sticky is you're going to fold that over to itself, so that way you don't have that sticky part exposed like what Georgia has right now. So now I have two smooth sides. So you would do the same thing. You would come under one ear, sticky side, below the chin and do the other sticky side, and then you would just use your tabs and do the same thing. You can also do it with this kind of tape, you know, fold it over so you get that smooth crease, whatever works for you guys. Um, a few things I want to tell you about this is you want to do it, um, I always tape my dog's ears right before they eat. The more they chew, um, it, you know, then it pumps blood through the, the vessels here in the ear, causes this to crease over. Um, I always make sure I give her a couple chew toys while she's got her ears taped. You don't want to leave your ear taping on too long. It can cause um, a yeast infection inside their ears. So I like to do two or three days. I cut the tape. Sometimes I leave the tab, which is, you know, some of you guys had asked what that tab was on George's ear, and that's what it was from. So you just leave the tab, then I tape um, tab to tab. You know, there's very gentle ways to get the tape off the inside of your dog's ears. You can use mineral oil, baby oil. Um, you can Google it. There's lots of different things on the Internet. But that's um, why and how we tape our dog's ears. Um, and there's other different ways, but this is what works for us. So just one more time, my son gets mad at me because I repeat too much in these videos, but just do not leave your tape on too long. Um, it will cause yeast infection inside your dog's ears. So tape for two or three days. Make sure you give them lots of things to chew on, then let the tape off. Um, always, you can kind of go up to your dog's ear, kind of sniff it. If it smells funky, you probably got a yeast infection going on in there. You need to make sure you get that taken care of. So um, like, subscribe. If you have any comments, please drop it below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.